What's up, guys? It's your boy Nocturne, official Nocturne of Nocturne Gaming, electronic music producer and DJ from upstate New York. And today we have a tournament I've been speaking about since the last video, and that's the flyweight tournament. They already did the autofill. This is what we got. We got Ortiz against Johnson. The Judo against Moreno. Gwyn against Benavides. Mocha against Skagans. We're all random. All ready to go. You already know what it is. If you're on Twitch. Don't forget. Hit that follow button. Not only is it free, but it supports the channel. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you hit the like button or the dislike button. Whatever you want to do. Make sure you hit the sub subscribe button. This series right here. One of my favorite series. I started I usually <laughs> I usually start a series and just stop because I get bored of it. I'm not bored of this at all. Um, also, huge announcement, the UFC 1 will be coming to you. I'm hoping we can get this thing going Saturday night. Um, uh, Saturday night or Sunday night, but I'm pushing for Saturday, depending on what's going on during the day, and get this uploaded. Get it to you guys, you already know what it is. It's gonna feature some great fights from the strawweight division, the heavyweight division, and the light heavyweight division. A couple of number one contendership fights, two title fights, strawweight title on the line, strawweight title on the line, which is like a Dahlia's title. Remember, if you want it back at the tournament, the heavyweight title will be on the line. Dos Santos will be defending that title. It's gonna be crazy, it's gonna be action packed. You already know what it is. Right now, let's get to that flyweight tournament. You already know what it is. I'll see you guys down the ringside. Let's get it going. Three, two, one. Yeah. Okay, guys, we are here and ready to go. Let's, without further ado, let's get to the first, first quarterfinal match. That is Ortiz against Johnson. See you guys down at ringside. Coming up next, it's a flyweight matchup between Dustin Ortiz and Demetrius Johnson. Are you ready? You ready? Fight. Here we go. So here he is, the UFC flyweight champion, Demetrius Johnson, still undefeated at 125 pounds. You know he's got some power, but the submission game has really been there in the UFC. Nine career wins by submission. You gotta think the opponent is mindful of that going into this one tonight. Joe doing a nice job here, staying busy from the bottom. And he's trying to pass. All right, first round is underway. We'll see how long it takes for him to find a home for these patented, powerful overhand punches. Always a big weapon of his on fight night. We'll see how soon he can get it going tonight. He's now working from side control again. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Excellent movement here on the ground. Oh, elbow to the head. Oh, big elbows. Back to north south. He's back in a side control here. Ortiz gets caught with that punch. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Ortiz gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Gotta find a way to move those feet. Hammer fist here by Johnson. Back to north south again. Oh, he's going for a submission. It looks like he's hunting for an arm here. He's got his arm pinned down. Not good for Ortiz. This is a five it's stage a submission. Can he get it? He might get it here. Look at this. Getting tighter. Oh, it's all over, y'all. Ortiz stood no chance. 
Beautiful technique, setting it up, and a beautiful job in getting that submission. Yeah, that is high-level stuff out of him there, Joe, to finish the submission. It's one thing to get the dominant position. It's another thing to close the show, and he certainly did that here tonight. That's a big one. And here it is again, absolutely perfectly executed. And here we see it again, beautiful submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 29 seconds of the very first round. For the winner by submission, Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson. So with the target planted firmly on his back as usual, the UFC's only flyweight champion, Demetrius Johnson, finds a way to get it done yet again. It is just a marvel watching this guy perform and mix all of the martial arts together seamlessly, as conditioned as any fighter in any division, and maybe has the best technique when it comes to mixing all the martial arts as well. So no surprise that DJ with style points gets the job done yet again here tonight. And I agree with you more. Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson might be the only flyweight champion, but hey, that title is vacant. That title's on the line tonight. Can he withstand competition, which I think he's going to go all the way and win. My personal favorite going in. Uh, dude's just nasty. His grappling, even his strikes are known for his submissions, but his strikes are pretty powerful. Uh, but anyway, let's head into the uh, second quarter final match. We got Sajudo against Moreno. See you down at ringside. All right, coming up next, it's a flyweight matchup between Henry Cejudo and Brandon Moreno. Here we go, first round, you ready? Are you ready? All right, so this UFC Grand Prix tournament is coming up next. This format has been all the rage with a lot of the hardcore mixed martial arts fans out there. Sort of an homage to the history of UFC and Pride with a single night tournament game event here. And let's see who can be the last man standing here tonight. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Sahu. Both guys have proved to be dangerous in the opening seconds of this fight. Oh, good hard kick. Caught him with a punch. Looking to avoid that left hand. Nice takedown. And he landed the right hand there. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by the assassin baby, Brandon Moreno. Very nice sweep, winds up in his opponent's guard. Oh, we caught him with that right hand. Noodles looking for that submission. The way he passes the guard is just a, a thing of beauty. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground, staying busy. He's in half guard here. Takes his back. And he gets reversed. And now he's in full mount. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. He's in back full, full mount. mount. Goes to judo. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by the assassin baby, Brandon Moreno. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly Excellent moving, constantly team. staying busy. Now he touches him with the left. He's now working from side control again. And busy as he looks to improve position here. He's landing some serious ground and pound strikes here. Excellent movement here on the ground. He's got the clinch. Double underhooks, we'll see what he can do with it. And he pummels out of it. Tries a judo throw, so but it's first by Moreno. Oh, it's went it. for it. He's and deep. At He's going to cross the hands. Very center. well scouted by the judo. Moves to north-south. It looks to me 
Like he's trying to turn towards either side. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Good ground defense by Moraine, although oh, I'll say. 20 seconds uh -oh. to go in the round. Final seconds here in round one. Round two next. All right, round two. There, huge block for him. And he's looking for that left. Level change there, goes for the takedown. Oh, right hand is there for him, Joe. Oh, oh, a beautiful, beautiful there. Elbow. He transitions to full mount. Hip escape, gets out of the full mount. Movement and transitions here on the ground, staying busy. Great reversal by Fujito. And he winds up on top. Big punch from the bottom. Excellent movement on the ground here, always trying to better his position. Trying to pass here. Ooh, nice reversal by Perfectly Moreno. Executed sweep, and he's right into side control. He gets into north south. Into side control again. We pass the midpoint here of the fight. Now he secured side control. Look at this. He's out of it. Great groundwork by Moreno. Good control, postures up. Transitions back to full guard. Stand back up. Engaging in the clinch here once again. Moreno gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. And there he swung with a haymaker. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly Beautiful found his rhythm, found the range. Marino. I'm we'll sorry. We'll see if he can continue off. with more activity here in round two. Takes the back, uh -oh. now going for Could the rear naked choke. Finish. He's got it under the chin now. Five he goes stage palm submission. To palm first to try to finish it off. Look at that. That is got high a deep. level ground He's got game a deep. There. This oh, is this getting is tighter over. and tighter. He might have to tap. Stunning. And that Stunning. Do it. And he really made it look easy. Round was almost over, but he sunk in the submission and got Beautiful the victory. Submission finish. Right, I mean, how do you not admire the focus of this young fighter? You could tell he was looking for that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it. He stayed patient, let the setup do its thing, and ultimately the submission materializes organically late in the round. High-level stuff out of that young fighter here tonight. And one more time. Nice technique here on this submission. Yeah, all right, we go back inside the octagon to the veteran voice once more. He is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 51 seconds at round number two. Declaring the winner by top out due to a rear naked choke. Brandon, the assassin, baby! So there he is, your winner by way of submission, and how good was that? I mean, you talk about maximizing a UFC showcase, and that's a great example of doing just that. You see him sharing a moment here with his coaches, his training partners, and you can be sure that with the hard work done and the hay in the barn, that these guys are going to be celebrating deep into the night after a submission win like this. Well, beautiful fight that was. Back and forth action the whole way. Moreno had great takedown defense, great ground game from the bottom. Uh, same with Sejudo, but it all came down to that submission.
Moreno applied on Sejudo. Sejudo was really struggling later in that second round, and Moreno took advantage. Got a rear naked choke, five-stage submission, made Sejudo tap. He's moving on to the semifinals to face Demetrius Johnson. That's going to be a going to be a slugfest. Um, but I'm predicting Johnson second round submission. All right, second half of the quarterfinals coming up right now. We got um, Nguyen against uh, Benavidez. I'm pretty sure I pronounced both of those names wrong, but that's okay. That's what I do. I'll see you guys down at ringside. To this flyweight matchup between Ben Wynn and Joseph Benavides. Here we go. First round. You ready? You ready? Let's well, how go. good is this? Reminds me of the good old days of Pride, the UFC Grand Prix single night tournament. This has been highly anticipated by fight fans around the world. And remember, if you sustain damage, that could affect you later on in this one night tournament. Oh, nice strike landed there by Wynn. Pretty good jab there, Joe. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. That's not the opponent. Just misses there with the left. And he continues to work on the inside of that lead leg. Looping left hand misses the target. Left hand there inside. And there's a takedown attempt. Well, the kick lands to the head there, Joe, but I gotta say, he moved right into it. So let's see if he can make the adjustments, try to circle out, and at the very least, get that guard up. Not a good look for him here. All of those are blocked. Oh, massive kick lands flush. Hard straight punch. Oh, how clean is that jab by Benavidez? Wynn gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Good submit, good takedown D by Yen. He's got a clinch. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Got both hooks now. Oh, belly, oh, belly suplex by Benavidez. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Side control. Lands flush with that right hand. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Inside control once again, working from the mounted crucifix. He's going for an armbar here. Look at this. Uh oh, the mission He's applied. He's got the arm in an inverted armbar position. Five stage submission He's going to get a belly here. Oh, we're getting a finish here. I think this is it. Oh, it's over. And the oh, it. Broke his arm. The round was about to end, sunk in the submission, and got the victory. Yeah, you've got to admire the focus and the commitment to getting the finish. You could tell he was in hot pursuit of that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it, so he sets it up beautifully, lets it materialize almost organically, and ultimately gets the desired result. And one more time from this angle, we can see that arm bar locked in tight for the tap. Beautiful submission. And finally, one more time, no choice but to tap. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop for this contest at four minutes, 29 seconds of the very first round. To claim the winner by tap out, Joseph Kobe Wakanobi Benavidez. All right, so Joby gets it done yet again. Really few fighters in any division mix their skills as well as Benavidez does, and he once again proved that he's still one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in mixed martial arts today, despite never being a UFC champion. Perhaps he'll get that belt before all is said and done. Beautiful action. Benavidez takes over very early in the 
the first round, was able to take control of Yen, who had a who had a great takedown defense. But other than that, Benavidez took over, and was able to apply a five stage armbar submission, which he's which he successfully did, made the end tap. Three submissions, three tap outs. Crazy. Night is moving by very fast. Let's move on to the final quarterfinal match against Smolka and Scoggins. See you down at ringside. Don't forget, if you're on Twitch, make sure you hit that follow button. Not only is it free, but it helps support the channel. If you're on YouTube, hit that like button and the sub button. If you don't like the video, Hit the dislike button. It's all right. It works either way. You already know what it is. Let's get it. Next, it's a flyweight matchup between Lewis Smolka and Justin Scoggins. There you go. Quick one. You ready? Are you ready? Well, no better way to pay homage to the history of pride in the UFC with this single mic UFC Grand Prix tournament. Some of the best fighters in the world have come out. Let's see who will be the last fighter standing here tonight. Oh, double jab. He's fainting with the punch. Oh, wow. Huge head kick. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Scoggins got caught by that elbow, or so it appeared. Yes, he did. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here, nice punch. Well, you don't wanna spend too much time fighting off of your back, Joe, but pretty good work here from the bottom by Scoggins. Definitely do agree there. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Scoggins gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Oh, Scoggins looking for a submission. Can't get it. Well, Great just because you're on the back doesn't Smolka. mean you can't throw off that. Stay busy here. You'd like to see that, Joe. Covering up, doing an excellent job of stopping the ground pound. Big shot from the bottom. Oh, wow. He's going to try to take the back. Look at that. He's timing that jab. Going orthodox now. Oh, and he's down. Well, whatever works. Now he switches his stance again. Front kick to the body. And he looks for the takedown. Smolka gets the takedown. Now let's see if he chooses takedown. to pass here, Joe. Goggins looking for that uh, guillotine. Excellent movement here on the ground. Nice hammer fist. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Scoggins. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground, staying busy. Forty-five seconds to go here in round one. Great reversal by Scoggins. Look for the north-south uh -oh. choke. Look for him to try to set that up, perhaps, with his Five right arm. stage submission. That choke looks locked up tight. He wants to move his opponent's left arm out of the way. That's the arm that's defending. Once he gets that out of the way, oh, then he can work the choke. Saved wow, by the bell. Round two. Here we are, early round two. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. He's really starting to connect Joe on a lot of these strikes to the midsection. Yep. Nice body kick. Good straight hand there by Scoggins. Roundhouse kick lands. Nice jab by Scoggins. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Now he's in half guard. Oh, he got cracked. 
Hulka's throwing them bows right now. Oh, great reversal. Oh, reversal. Straight Ooh. line. He misses. The kick gets through. There's a nice exchange. Locks up the plum. Under three minutes now remain in round two. Beautiful shape on my stomach, who I think is going to be looking for a submission right now. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Side control again. Oh, front side choke. Trying to get that arm underneath the chin. It looks like he's got the north-south choke locked in nice and tight. Oh, this is over. This is it! This is it! He got and it! He got it. Nicely done. Another Set up the submission. Choke, completed the job and got the victory. victory well, yeah, Joe, he told us wow. during fight week he's been working dutifully on his submission game and he was going to look for an opening here tonight. Safe to say he found one near perfect setup on the choke. It was sunk in deep, and his opponent had no choice but to tap out or go to sleep. And here we see it from another angle. Beautiful technique here, and the tap. And let's watch it here one more time. Deep submission, and the tap. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Bruce Buffer has Ladies the and official decision. Referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop in this contest at three minutes, 23 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out, Lewis the Left Cavalry Small. Well, what a submission win for this oncoming force here tonight. I think he's going to be a problem for a lot of fighters in this division. Tonight, though, is all about the celebration after getting the finish that he so sought. Coming in here tonight, you see how happy his coaches are, his training partners. This is going to be a fun night for this team and one that they have richly deserved. <laughs> yes, sir. Another fight, another submission victory. All four fights so far at submissions. Will there be a KO this night? I don't think so, guys. I think it's going to end on all submissions. Um, all right, Smolko with the victory. Brings him into the semifinals. He'll be fighting uh, Benavidez in the second semifinal match. But right now, we're going to head down to ringside because it's Demetrius Johnson against Moreno. All right, coming up next, it's a flyweight matchup between Demetrius Johnson and Brandon Moreno. Are you ready? You ready? All right, the wait is over. We are underway here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. All right, so here he is, the assassin baby, the oncoming flyweight sensation, Brandon Moreno, ready to go for round one. And Joe, the majority of his finishes have come in this opening frame. It is something his opponent has certainly prepared for. Moreno has some of the best chokes in this flyweight division, and he is very dangerous early. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another Great thing take to use by Johnson. He does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Brandon Moreno. Trying to pass there, but he gets stopped. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by the assassin baby, Brandon yes. Moreno. Effective strike there by Johnson. Beautiful reversal yes, by Moreno. This is a good, he's got full here. guard. Moves to half guard. Oh, he's got a guillotine here. Oh, Under three minutes one thing we haven't seen all night is in the uh, submission guard. escape. Moreno did that flawlessly. Beautifully executed sweep. Full mount. Hip escape, nice hip escape. And now he's inside control. 
Now he's got the mounted crucifix. That was a good elbow by Mighty Mouse. Excellent movement here on the ground. Back to side control. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. He, he landed a left hand there. Our first knockout of the night. Demetrius Johnson. And that is a great sign of an intelligent wow. fighter. Composure. Knew he hurt him. And he's taking his time. Yeah, Joe, that was some outstanding ground and pound to get the opponent out of there. He was throwing big shots there on the ground, man. Not just looking to score, but actually looking to end the fight and to make sure the judges stayed firmly out of this equation. Elbows, punches, hammer fists, everything seemed to be working for him here tonight. And let's see if we can get a better look at it from a different angle. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. We send it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer, Buffer has the official decision. Has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 21 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson. All right, so more of the same here in this UFC flyweight division as Demetrius Johnson gets his hand raised yet again. And you can't help but wonder what kind of fighter and what kind of championship effort is it going to take to dethrone the as yet only UFC flyweight champion. The celebration is on for DJ and Matt Human, rightfully so. Another big moment for that killer one-two punch here tonight. Huge moment for Johnson. Absolutely agree there. Um, something we haven't seen at all tonight, and that's a KO. I didn't expect this match to end by KO. I thought it was going to be another submission. But wow, Johnson prevailed. Uh, he uh, prevented uh, Moreno from moving, which tired Moreno out, and, and uh, Johnson just took over with some uh, ground-and-pound strikes, knocked Moreno clean out, which brings Johnson to the finals for the vacated flyweight title that Demetrius Johnson did own. <laughs> anyway, guys, to the final uh, semifinal match, Benavidez, Spalka, Let's get it back down the ringside. Back to you, Joe. It's a flyweight matchup between Joseph Benavides and Louis Smolka. You ready? You ready? And we are underway. So here's the longtime flyweight contender, Joseph Benavidez. He has been in there with the best fighters in the world. And anybody who isn't on that level usually gets knocked out or submitted by Joe B. Nine wins by submission, another half dozen by knockout or TKO. Benavidez looks to get off to a fast start tonight. <laughs> Joe, your thoughts on what we might see here early? Look out for the overhand right of Joseph Benavidez. He will throw it hard and throw it often. Good punch. That one hurt. Slips to avoid the right. Good exchanges from both fighters. Oh, beautiful jab there by Benavidez. Also looking for that takedown. Going for the takedown. But Benavidez, Benavidez capitalizes the with one of his own. Trying to spin to the back. Full guard. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Benavidez. Beautifully executed Beautiful reversal. Sweep. He lands a big shot from the bottom. Half guard. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Hammer fists blocked. Showing some good defense here on the ground by Ooh, great Leon. reversal by Smolka. Back and nice. forth on the ground. Look at the pass. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Benavidez. Trying to mount. He's got it. Full mount. Nice left hand. He hip escapes from the full mount. Well, he's been on his back here, but he's actually doing some pretty effective work. Joe lands a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done there by Benavides. Side control. X 
excellent movement on the ground here, always trying to better his position. North South. Oh, not good. Benavidez is tired. This match is, this might be over, guys. He's got this anaconda choke sunk in tight. He might get a finish here. Oh, he escapes from that submission. Inside control. Beautiful escape by Benavidez. He's doing a great job of moving and these guys and are standing back up. here on the ground. And right back down. Oh, Connects there, Joe. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. One of the most productive first rounds tonight. All right, round two. Smolka gets caught with that punch. He's got to figure out a way to get that guard higher, Joe. Whoa! He is clearly in big, big trouble. Oh, he missed that kick. Big straight punch. Leg kick. Switching stances here. Now he switches his stance again. Beautiful takedown defense by Benavidez. In the clutch. Benavidez has worked in that arm. Nice job got of his pummeling, back. and he's got the double underhooks now. And they separate. Oh, oh strong punch there. Mocha Berta box himself with those takedown defense. Gets hit with an uppercut. It's over. Well, if you're going to leave your body down wide open, and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush. Beautiful takedown by Benavidez. Trying to pass here. Yet again, they will clinch here. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Benavidez gets double underhooks here in the clinch. Normally, now he'll try to change levels and go for a takedown. He's got the plum here. Oh, oh big knee! He's got him hurt here. He's in big, big trouble. Oh, he got tagged. He got hurt bad. Oh, oh very nice. He's got him hurt here. Just over two minutes to go. Body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Oh, he tagged him to the left. He's got him right here. Oh, Smoker got nice tagged as he's taking him down. Stunned Smoker, but he still managed to get through it. But Benavides came back with a. He's got a guillotine lock. He's looking for a guillotine choke. He's in full guard here. What he needs to Horse do to get the guillotine this is, is over. first, he's got to throw his arm over the back of his opponent's head. Then he's gonna slide has his done it. And then technique. technique. Got caught in the choke, didn't want to tap, and went to sleep. Yeah, that's high level jujitsu there, and I know going into this fight, he felt like he was gonna have to be near perfect with his grappling and his transitions to force a tap, and he did one better here tonight. He forced the nap. So great technique to get the finish, and ultimately he is your winner by way of submission. And so let's look at it again from another angle. He doesn't even get a chance to tap. Out like a light. And one last time, excellent technique on that choke for the submission victory. All right, Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Bruce. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliato has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 59 seconds of round number two. For the winner, by submission, Chosen Benavidez! All right, so congratulations to Joseph Benavidez. We have come to expect excellence out of Benavidez and another clean performance here tonight out of the perennial flyweight contender. Perhaps it'll be enough to earn a shot at the title, but regardless of that, the celebration is on, and rightfully so, for Team Benavidez here tonight. Team Benavidez has came through, showed up, and finished the fight. Um, a beautiful fight, one of the most exciting fights of the night, I must say. Uh, back and forth, takedowns after takedowns, takedown defenses, submission escapes. 
Oh man, it was filled with everything. Um, as you notice at the end of that, towards the end of that fight, uh, Smoker went for the takedown. He got he got hit good, and stunned him, but Smoker still got the takedown, still stunned, and uh, Benavidez is uh counteracted with a submission. The guillotine he got it locked, four stage submission, He's able to get Smoker to tap. Now Benavidez has uh, earned his way to the final matchup tonight, where he will face Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson. Will Johnson reclaim the vacated flyweight championship tonight? He will be in the championship corner, and don't forget, guys, don't don't forget. Um, they're in the championship corner, and they win the match. Even though I say it's vacated, they will still say and still, blah blah blah. Don't worry, guys. My league, that title is vacated. Will Demetrius reclaim his crown, or will Benavidez relinquish victory? Let's find out. Back down to ringside. Flyweight championship final. Here we go. Coming up next, it's a flyweight title fight between Demetrius Johnson and Joseph Benavidez. You ready? You ready? All right, here we go at stake, the UFC Flyweight Championship of the World. Oh, effective strike there by Benavidez. Well, some have gotten through, Joe. This shot is blocked. Head kick. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Inside leg kick there by Benavides. This is a this is a bit of a chess battle here. Well, Joe, you gotta fault the strategy here. I'm not saying he bet on the oh, oh, oh boy. Beautiful combination. Body kick, look at that. Oh, he might be out. Maybe a slip there by Benavidez, hard to see. Splits the guard and connects with the punch. Oh, he blocked that offense, Joe. Benavidez gets absolutely punished by that head kick. First takedown attempt is there. He's posturing up here. Nice punch there by Johnson. No oh, Benavidez guard. looking for that guillotine choke. Oh, postures up and now goes with the big strike to the body. Well done there by DJ. Covering up, doing a nice job of stopping that ground and pound. Got him in full guard here, but he's getting caught with some big strikes. Oh, beautiful, beautiful right hand by the champion. And he lands a hammer fist. Busy as he looks to improve position here. Oh, he got reversed. Excellent movement here on the ground. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Good ground so game by uh, here. Johnson here. Great reversals. Aim for Benavidez. Benavidez is in trouble though. Seconds himself now out. To go in the opening round. Opening himself up. He's got his back. Exactly what he did. He just got a choke. Five now stage. He opens it up, pulls him onto his back. Oh, this isn't good. Here. Will he get saved? He's going to get saved by the bell. Benavidez is lucked out there. He really lucked out. That fight looks like it was about to be finished. Second round underway. This is gonna become one of those things where you're just wondering what's what's the opponent gonna be able to do to him. Ooh, Johnson. He's in big trouble. He's in deep danger right now. Who saw this coming? He's got him hurt here. And he lands a huge hook and counter.
Ooh. We'll show you the total strikes. Benavidez gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up, Joe. And he scores the double leg takedown. Lands a good shot from the bottom. Half guard. Moves into half guard. Benavidez takes his back. Excellent sweep. Full guard. Now he's in full guard. Uh oh. Mighty Mouse. Four Looks stage like guillotine, guillotine, and he ended here. He's in full guard here, looking for the guillotine choke. What he needs uh -oh. to do is he needs He's to wrap trouble. his arm around the he back of his He is in trouble. This head. is over. Slide his forearm underneath the chin. Oh, oh my God. God! Mighty Mouse has done it. Used excellent technique in getting that choke for Reclaims the victory. Reclaims his title. Well, yeah, so the work in the gym pays off here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Gorgeous setup on the choke, and I think even better execution down the stretch. Clearly, it was sunk in deep. His opponent had no choice but to tap or take a nap. In this case, he chose to tap out. Let's see it again here. Deep guillotine choke, full guard for the tap. And here we see it again. Beautiful submission victory. All right, let's go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop for this contest. At two minutes, ten seconds of round number two. To play the winner by tap out due to a guillotine choke. And still! So how about that effort out of the undisputed UFC flyweight champion? He defends the belt successfully by way of submission here tonight. And what a moment there in the corner as they celebrate this latest victory. It is going to take a monumental effort to dethrone this champion at 125 pounds. I do agree with that. It's going to be hard to dethrone this champ right here. Great all-around fighter from striking to submissions. He's got it all. The man's got it all. He's proved it tonight. Submission, his first fight. Knockout in his second fight. And submission in the finals. Wow. Benavidez put up a great fight, but that, that, four, that, that stage four guillotine, Benavidez was tired out. I, I didn't see him getting out of that at all. He had that locked. Four stages, made him tap. That's it. But hey, guys, you know, great event. We got ourselves our flyweight division. We got our flyweight champion. Um, we'll probably see the flyweights in uh, the second pay per view, VUFC 2. They will not be in VUFC 1. So Mighty Mouse gets, us, gets himself a break. The flyweights get themselves a break. <clears throat> Who will Demetrius fight? Um, defending his title, we're not sure yet. We'll we'll make that announcement at our first pay per view, BUFC one, which will take place. We have decided the time and day. Um, it will be here Saturday night, seven p.m. on the dot. It will be here. Be there, be square. You already know what it is. It's your boy Nocturne. And, uh, yeah. Oh, by the way, guys, it will be live uh, on YouTube about 7 o'clock. Um, as far as Twitch goes, Twitch, you guys are going to have to wait maybe till Sunday. We'll see. Not quite sure how that's going to work yet. But it will be here. Got Everybody's going to see it. YouTube's going to see it first. And then we'll broadcast it on Twitch probably Sunday. Um, but yeah, guys, until that event, we'll see you Saturday. Um, it's going to be a good event, good card. You already know what it is. It's your boy Nocturne. The UFC, the place to be. And we're out of here. Peace. Come in, come in. I can see you by the fire. Listen, listen. There's something I must confide I know I said that it'd be fine I know I made it look like it'd be alright But I think I learned my lesson
lesson and I'm not gonna let you out of my sight You can call me killer Cause I'll bring you to the light And it might taste bitter When your rents are aimed to God You can call me killer As you look into my eyes Nothing but a sinner Well, yeah, so the work in the gym pays off here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Fortune.